Hello. What's up everyone? Aloha, Steve here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have another review and this time is going to be the Form Low Home Alone. Gear has been pushing the Form Silhouette a lot this year and what perfect timing. It's part of the holiday to team up with Home Alone to create a nice spin on the sneaker based off that holiday favorite film from 1990. But before we get started, as always, let's take a quick look at the box. So there's nothing different about this box. This is just your typical Gear's original blue box with the Trade Fall logo in the front and the back. We also have a small version of it over here and also as well here. And what's different about this is now they have a printed and plastic waist here. It's probably the ambition to end plastic waist, which is pretty awesome. And with the official colors, we have how white, which is red and off white. All right, now on to the sneakers. I find it funny that the first thing you see is Mars face on one of the insoles. So you do get extra insoles, which we'll talk about later. Right here it is, the Form Low Home Alone. I really do like this actually. Nice details, I like the color. And actually, the colorway on this is based off of those shoes that Kevin McAllister is wearing in the movie. These are not the actual shoes that he's wearing. I'm not sure what he's wearing, but the colorway is actually similar. So we got this off-white with the red details on it. Take a look at the offers of the sneakers. We have it made out of two different materials. The majority of which is going to be in this off-white leather. We have it in the toe box area, mud guard, as well as the eye stays. And also the X details on the side here where it meets the strap. Wrapping around the heel and also going towards the needle side. And again, meeting up with the mud guard. And I do like this off-white color. It kind of gives it that nice worn out look. You know, it kind of reminds me of the movies when the time goes on, they're getting worn out. And we also have some red leather details here as well. We have it on the three stripes on the sides that goes to the needle and on the lateral side. And also where the toe box meets the eye stake here in the front. And as for the second material, we have sort of this corduroy material in an off-white color that goes in between the three stripes on the side right over here. That goes for the lateral and also on the other side. Looking throughout the sneaker, there are some nice nods towards the movie. For example, we have the X details on the lateral side right over here. So usually there's a Trefo logo here, but so we have the Home Alone logo, which is the house in red. And above that, we have this sort of a red stitching that also goes for the middle side here. That's kind of like a nod to Kevin Castle's crayon drawing for his battle plan. And also, again, on the lateral side, we have this maybe like a burn mark or like a scorch mark for explosives of fire out of here. And also, the bottom of the tongue right here. So that's when he's using fire or like those firecrackers to deter the burglars. Going towards the back of the stick, we have some nice details that go hand in hand with each other to reference the movie. For example, we have this. Jude and here, and that's in reference to the Macassar family doorknob for the front door. And above that, we have this heel tab in orange, which is in reference to the heating element that Kevin uses to heat up the doorknob. You know where Harry tries to open up the front door and he burns his hand. And that's why we have that M in red, because it's heated up. Right above the midsole, we have this white TPU heel stabilizer starting from the lateral side right here. Wrapping around towards the back and then again towards the middle side, stopping right above this exposed foam and Dillinger web. And originally this sneaker was a basketball sneaker, so what this does was, it was a shock absorber, so which helps playing basketball. And we have that decoupled in midsole between the forefoot and also the rear foot. Take a look at the tongue, instead of being made out of nylon like other Adidas forums. We have it made out of leather and this off-white color. Going towards the tongue tag, we have this brown, sort of like a carpet material look to it with the Adidas Trifle logo on the left side. And on the right side, we have the Home Alone logo with the words Home Alone right underneath that. And this actually in reference to the McAllister family doormat for the front door. And beneath the tongue tag, we have this red stitching. And looking at the back of it, kind of hard to see, but it says the brown with the three stripes right over here. You can't really see it. And going towards the soft one, we have it made out of textile and this red color. In the back of the tongue, we have it also made out of textile in that red color again as well. And in closing the tongue, we have this canvas strap in an off-white color. And on the front, we have the Beatles logo in white. Kind of like a Warner look, and it has some red color in there as well. And this is actually for the left side only. If you open up the strap, 
We have Kevin Batamantra that says, This is my house. I have to defend it. And with this strap, there's actually removable with Velcro, so you can, you know, wear it with it or without it. Personally, I do like the strap, like I said in my other form videos. It just gives it that nice classic look, like it did back in these for the original forms. Because with the original forms, you couldn't remove the strap. Hanging on the right side of the right sneaker, we have these hang tags. So the first one is all red with the Home Alone logo, the house, and then the word Home Alone. And then we have this off-white hang tag with Kevin's silhouette in red, holding an iron and looks like a blow dryer. I don't have to show this blow dryer. So we have three different insoles to choose from. First ones come already inside the sneaker, which is Kevin's battle plan made out of crayon you know, drawing. And then you have the burglars, Marvin Harry, known as the Wet Bandits. So I'm wondering, well, for the left side, you have Marv's face, and when the iron drops on him. And then you have Harry's face here, when he gets burnt, opening up the back door with a blowtorch. With take on fire. And then you have Marvin Harry once again. So, I think this is the scene where like, Kevin kind of first encounters the wet bandits, kind of breaking through their home. I think this is where Marv puts his foot through that dog flap in the, in the back door, and then his shoe comes off. And then we have Harry here when he tries to chase after Kevin, and then he falls into one of his traps where the fan blows feathers on him. Why the hell are you dressed like a chicken? And some of the stuff that comes with the sneakers, some accessories, are these lace jewels. So you can attach them to your laces. So we have the van that Harry and Marv are driving around throughout the movie. We have a fire extinguisher. We have the fan that, that blows the feathers onto Harry. We have broken ornaments that Marv steps on. Then we have the paint can that hits both of them in the head while going up the stairs. And then we have the iron that falls right on top of Marv's face in the basement. My girlfriend made a good point. For the insoles, why don't they even feature Kevin McAllister? These are just the wet bandits. And he's the main character of the movie. I mean, these are all the main characters, but he's like the main protagonist. The only thing they have regarding Kevin is just that silhouette on the hang tie here. So I do wonder why they didn't feature him on the insoles. Going towards the midsole of the sneaker, we have this off-white rubber midsole with the Adidas and Trefoil logo right here on just on the lateral side. Going towards the bottom of the shoe, we have this red rubber outsole that includes the circular pivot point and the suction cup traction. So in this little suction cup traction, we have the Adidas Trefoil logo. Now as far as sizing goes, I recommend going true to size. But well, if you're like me, someone has wide feet, I recommend going half a size up. And that's because these shoes actually are a bit narrow compared to the 4 So If you guys ever tried on the 4 they fit perfect, you know, even going true to size. These are like more like a narrow cut. So I recommend going half a size up for wider feet. So instead of going 8.5 for my true to size, I went with the size 9 and these fit perfect. Alright, now with the sneakers out of the way, let's place them up and show what they look like on feet. Alright everyone, this is the video. Thank you all for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you were able to cop the sneakers and also what's your favorite detail. 
And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps grow my channel. I have more videos, more sneaker videos for you guys to watch. And if you guys haven't seen the movie, what are you even doing watching this video? I'm just kidding. If you guys have Disney Plus, fortunately, you can watch it on there. I'll see you guys next time. Shoots and aloha.